Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to create a beautiful ethereal light look with Chanel for summer. I have this beautiful pearly white single eyeshadow here that I wore recently in a video and tons of you commented that you loved the look and you wanted to see how to create it at home. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. This look is really simple. It really is one single eyeshadow. However, three eyeliners and two mascaras. I'm going to use the Lilac Mascara again in a way that actually works this time. So this look is simple eyeshadow wise, but you'll see in a minute, it, it's actually quite nice. One thing that's important is a setting spray. I'm using the Dior Forever setting spray. Use whatever setting spray you have at home, it'll be fine. And another thing that's important with this look is I'm using this specific brush from Angie Hot and Flashy, it's the A505. I love this one because it's made specifically for shimmery eyeshadow looks and this one here has a sort of pearlescent shift which you'll see in a moment. I'm going to just spray my brush here. A lot of you asked me if I was wearing this pearly white. It's the number 220 Blanc Perle. It's a satin. It has a, a luminous pink green pearlescent shift. A lot of you asked if I was wearing this one with the jade green. Literally just this eyeshadow here on the lid. So you just pack it on the brush and then you sweep. And I did prime my eyelids off camera with the Hourglass eyeshadow primer. And we're just sort of packing it on like this. It's okay if it looks a little rough. We're going to use our fingertip in a second just to smooth it out. I just put some on my fingertip here and I'm just tapping it here. And then I'm using the other fingertip to just smooth out the shape. It's a one and done look. I don't know if I feel I feel like the camera never does it justice, but luckily a few of you in the comments did testify to how pretty this is for me. This is just a very unique shade. I don't have anything that's pinky, pearlescent, and almost green, but in a good way. Like a slight mossy minty green. For me it's very unique that's why i like it so much and sometimes when i do a one and done or i'm so sometimes when i use a single eyeshadow i do want it to be a one and done with just a little bit of liner and mascara but sometimes an eyeshadow like this it looks like you're wearing multiple different colors together and then when you go in with elaborate eyeliners or mascaras it just elevates the look in a very interesting way so i've just been sort of talking here tapping a little bit on blending it out a little bit it doesn't have to be too precise and that's it this look is incredibly simple it's kind of just it we're going to go in with the fun colorful eyeliners now this look was inspired and based off of the Lilac Mascara, which I tried with the single eye Lilac eyeshadow and it did not work. I'm just used to a lot of contrast. I have light to medium skin tone with dark features, you know, dark hair, everything. There's a lot of contrast and so I thought I need contrast with the Lilac Mascara. I can either do like dark navy or teal. So what I thought is I'll go into dark navy liners and mascara with the complementary lilac mascara and that's how i created this whole look here so going into this liner from chanel it's the number 30 it's called marine which is marine so just a dark navy we're just going to go in the top water line here this is called tight lining and this makes your eyelash base look thicker and more dense. Also, it will just help to define the eye here. This takes a few seconds. You could skip this part if you wanted to, but I think it looks nice. 
Now, this part here is the secret ingredient, the secret sauce, I think. This is from Violette FR. This is the Zier paint. This is technically a liquid eyeshadow in Ciel de Nuit, which means nighttime sky or night sky. So this is a liquid eyeshadow. It's very, it's matte, it's very dark and navy, it's so pretty. This contrasting, this pearlescent and the lilac mascara is so pretty. So what I do is I have this Refer 34 brush. It is tiny, minuscule. It looks like it's made for calligraphy. So what I do is I just load up my little brush here with the liquid eyeshadow and I draw a little line. I'm doing a little flick here. I'm just going to take off a little bit of the product. Taking the brush, I'm just drawing a little flick and then a thin line on the top of the lashes. This little wing in a dark navy is so chic, so elegant and understated. I think that this is the winged liner of the summer, a dark navy. It is so complimentary to this entire look we're creating here today. It is subtle. It's just, I can't get over it. I've mentioned this liquid eyeshadow multiple times and every time I use it, I will wax poetic because I just think it's so beautiful. Next up is an eyeliner from Danessa Myricks and this is the shade Lilac Quartz. Now, this looks like nothing here in the little product. However, I scrub the back of my hand here and you can see the Lilac Quartz has a lilac pink shift to it. So again, it's just leaning into this look here we're just building up different hues of lilac. So sometimes if you want to go into a single one and done, I'm going into the bottom lashes here, bottom waterline, I should say. If you want to use a single eyeshadow and you want to do something a little bit more elaborate, you can play up the eyeliner and the mascara that you use. You can go with your standard black or brown, but if you want to zhuzh it up, make it a bit more decadent and extra, play around with the eyeliners that you're using or the mascaras here and you'll you'll create multiple different looks with one single little eyeshadow. I bought another Danessa Myricks eyeliner. It's a bit more bronzy golden and I'll use it soon. I think it'll be nice for summer. So for the complexion, I'm going to do a little concoction here that I've been loving. It's the You Beauty Super Tinted Hydrator in the shade number four and the Prada Beauty Foundation in the shade MN4. So the U Beauty is a tinted moisturizer. It's very sheer, it's your skin but better, but I like how plump and hydrated and healthy it looks, it leaves my skin looking, but it really doesn't cover very much. So I go in with a little bit of the Prada Beauty just to get a little bit of balance, a little bit of like the best of both worlds. So funny enough, this is not my first time filming this exact video. Sometimes you film and everything that can go wrong will go wrong. So knock on wood that today actually does work. I filmed this whole thing and it was just technical flop after technical flop. So I said, you know what? Let's just, let's just refilm. Let's just reshoot. So that's what, that's what today is. So hopefully it did work. And I also still have my temporary office assistant, Gucci. Okay. <coughs> Gucci, the neighbor's cat. I think she will be back home when this uploads on Monday. So she's been, I mean, as an office assistant, she's been, um, not, I mean, she's very cute. She's very adorable, but she hasn't exactly helped me clean my makeup brushes. She hasn't really done anything. She's just sort of, uh, loafed around, purred, been cute. One thing that's not annoying, but something that I forgot about cats is she loves to sleep on me at night. I forgot what it felt like in the middle of the night to have those, like, those little paws just sort of 
come up and creep on you. I'm like, oh my god, oh yeah, it's Gucci. So I don't know what it is, but she insists on sleeping on top of me, my legs, my feet, my torso. Like I just wake up and there's just like this face just like purring. I'm like, oh my god. It's very cute, very adorable, but I'm just it's been a long time since I've had a cat, so I just sort of forgot what that's like. So she's been waking me up all night and I don't want to say that she snores, but she kind of snores. It's like a weird like squeaking cat snoring sound. If you are a cat owner, you may know what that sounds like. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Concealer here that I'm using, but it's like a squeaking, wheezy sound on top of her just constantly, not like climbing on top of me, but just sort of kneading me, like making sure I'm there, going to sleep, making sure I'm there. It's a whole process. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was using the BK Beauty 106 round foundation brush. It's great for that. And then going into the Prada Beauty concealer brush. This is fantastic. I'm curious what else Prada Beauty will come out with soon. I know they just came out with tinted lip balms and they do look tempting. I don't need them. I'm wondering when they'll come out with blushes, bronzers, concealers. I'm guessing that bronzers will not come out this year because even though it's only May and summer is literally just starting, as far as the beauty and fashion world is concerned, summer releases came out in March. So I imagine that bronzers will be for next year. I imagine I could be wrong. I just realized I didn't put mascara on the top, top or bottom lashes yet. I'll do that in a minute. So I wonder what they'll do next. I would love to see I mean, honestly, I've really enjoyed a lot of Prada Beauty so far. So I would just love to see what else they'll come out with. I can't really guess. I mean, they already have eyeshadows, maybe eyeliners or mascaras. I imagine maybe they would like complete one category, but then they already have foundations, but no concealers, no blushes or bronzers or powders. So far, I've, I've just really enjoyed the brand. So I'm happy to see what else they come out with. Now, let's go into the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow blah 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 palette here. This one is medium rose gold. I love this one. And I know a lot of you also love it, but we also have sort of commiserated in the fact that it's so confusing figuring out which one to get. I went with medium rose gold because I wanted a pinky blush. I mix both of these. So technically this is a highlighter and it does look like a highlighter, but it's it almost looks like a luminous bronzer on me. So using a rougher 04, this is a great little angled brush. What I'll do is I usually start by tapping into a little bit of everything. It's really surprising how buildable it is because I usually wear like a B30, B40 from Chanel. I'm in the light to medium range when it comes to complexion. And so when I was looking at the names of these palettes, I thought medium rose gold would be too deep for me, but it really isn't. And a lot of you who are my skin tone or even lighter are wearing darker ones. And some of you who are darker are wearing the lighter ones. I don't know. I think it's just if you find one and you like the shades, you somehow make it work by either going in really heavy or really light somehow. Once I have the bronzer laid down in a way that I like, I just go on the top of the nose here. Then I just go into the top color and I just sort of blur it. And it does look a little bit lighter. It does look like a highlighter, but it's really soft. So I just sort of finish off the bronzer look with the lighter color here. And I might go back into that after I apply the blush. It's a very pretty palette. I'm really happy that I went with this one here. It's so pretty. Then using the Chanel blush brush, just striping into the strawberry part of the Neapolitan here. I love this blush. It really is a rose gold. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love it mixed with everything else on the cheek. All right, now for mascara. So for the top part, I'm going to go into a dark navy. This is the Dior Iconic Overcurl in blue. So any blue mascara will do. I think that that 
is really part of creating this beautiful look with the pearly uh, white eyeshadow but specifically for the lilac mascara because navy and lilac are really beautiful colors together and again i just want higher contrast here so the navy goes on top i've heard that ysl also has a beautiful blue mascara honestly any brand will do now for the infamous lilac mascara i think i may use my little refer brush that i used on top here and collect some of the color to do a very fun eyeliner but what we're doing here is just going in the bottom lashes here and this mixed with the danessa myricks eyeliner just sort of plays together really nicely I think this is so far the only way that I know how to wear this lilac mascara. I would not buy this one again. I just sort of entered a state at the counter like lilac, lilac, everything. Give me the eyeshadow, the liner, or the liner, the mascara. I know some people said that they dot it a little bit on the top mascara, maybe another time. I just like how this looks and last time I applied the lilac mascara on the top lashes i hated it it's just it's a different look you know sometimes when you're just not used to seeing yourself a certain way it's really jarring like the first time you put on red lipstick a lot of people hate it because they're just not used to seeing themselves in that look but like this i like it just on the bottom lashes mixed together i think it's very pretty especially with the contrasting navy on top and that's why that little flick, the tight lining. It doesn't even look blue, but there's something here that just catches your eye and looks complimentary in a very natural way, even though there is a lot going on. For the lip, we're keeping it very simple. I'm going into my new favorite product here, the Victoria Beckham Lip Gloss in the shade Bungalow. It's just the prettiest, easiest peachy color to wear. It's my lip, but better in a glossy peachy way. And that is the finished look. So it's, I know it's elaborate, but it's really just one single eyeshadow. It's really the fact that I'm wearing three eyeliners and two mascaras that makes it a little bit extra. But I think this is fun because sometimes when we think of over the top makeup looks, we think, oh, we have to go in with five eyeshadows and how do I blend it? Where does it go? Actually, it's all in the eyeliners and mascaras. I think that this is, so far, the only tolerable way that I can wear this lilac mascara. I'll play around with it, but again, no merci. I would not purchase it again. We do make makeup mistakes sometimes. And I have samples here of the new Comet perfume, the Comet perfume. This is part of the exclusive line. So this one you can only buy online and at certain boutiques. You can't buy it at a department store. So I am not an exclusive uh, like niche perfume person. This range is not for me. I like them, but I don't love them. However, one thing I noticed that was really surprising when I tried this at the store and here with you is that I actually like this perfume. I rarely like a lot of the niche fragrances. I don't really like beige or coromandal. I despised Le Lyon. It's just not for me. So for those of you who love beige, jersey, those perfumes, please sound off in the comments and let me know what you think of this one here because I actually like it on me. It dries down a little bit sweeter. If you like number 19, if you like 1957, even Le Beige, those sort of soft, powdery, very niche fragrances, you would like Comet. And on me, it has that soft baby powder sweetness to it. It, it almost, it also smells like iris. It, it smells floral, clean, not too clean, like fresh linens and sunshine and soft, sweet baby powder and powdered sugar. I like it, but I don't love it. And especially at the niche perfume prices, I think the smaller sizes are like two or 300. And then the larger size is like five, I want to say at least, or six. Like, again, liked it, didn't love it. So I did not purchase it. I'm very happy to just try a sample. 
I could see for some people that this would be like their staple everyday perfume because it does smell clean, it smells fresh, it's light, it's very easy to wear. So I, for some people, this is going to be your everyday staple perfume. And again, those of you who love those exclusive perfumes, sound off in the comments because I think this is more your perfume. If you've made it to the end of the video, please leave a little white heart emoji in honor of today's look. I love this single eye shadow. For me, it's very unique because I don't have anything similar to this. It's white, it's pearlescent, it has a shift, it's pink, it's green. There's no jade green here. It's just this one. It's very, very, it like, listen, however nice you think this looks in, on camera, in person, it's even nicer. So for me, I'm very happy that I bought it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please take the time to do so. We talk a lot about luxury beauty, a lot of French brands, and I like to use and reuse my new and old collections, mix them together. So you'll get a lot of ideas on how to use up what you already own without necessarily getting that pressure to buy everything new. On that note, that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day. And also maybe leave a little cat emoji for Gucci. I think this may be her last video with me as my office assistant and she's going back home to her family very soon. So leave a little cat emoji for Gucci. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.